For the second time in less than a week, a shooting and high speed chase ended when officers shot a man suspected of an early morning murder. It began, it began rather in a home on the Midwakanton Sioux community in Prior Lake. That is where three people fled the scene, leading Eden Prairie Police on a high speed chase into Edina. Their vehicle was disabled and came to rest along an exit ramp at Highway 169 in Bren Road. Two suspects were quickly apprehended, but as Bill Hudson explains, when the third turned and opened fire, he was shot and wounded by two pursuing officers. In a development of stately homes not far from Mystic Lake Casino, homicide investigators were still on the scene, where shortly after 2 a.m., a 911 caller reported a male had been shot multiple times. When police arrived, a suspect vehicle was speeding away. Another officer followed the vehicle as it left the scene and attempted to stop that vehicle. The vehicle did not stop and a police pursuit ensued. Multiple agencies joined in the chase and eventually disabled the car with stop sticks here on the Bren Road exit ramp on 169. There were three suspects that fled from the vehicle at the end of the pursuit. Police quickly captured two people, but the third continued to run. When he turned and fired at two Eden Prairie officers, they fired back, wounding him and ending the chase. Law enforcement officers start their shift not knowing what that shift's going to bring. And I can't tell you how proud I am of my officers. Closures near the scene snarled traffic much of the morning as investigators searched for bullet casings and other evidence in the snow. As for what led to the initial killing of 42 year old James Heron, police are saying very little. We do believe that there was a motive behind it and that uh, these, this person was targeted by the suspects. Now, James Heron is the grandson of the late Midwakanton community founder Norman Crooks. His brother told me this afternoon he was kind-hearted soul. He would often let people into his home to help them out. He believes that Heron let his guard down and befriended the wrong people. And right now, yeah. police are not telling us how the suspect is doing. He was wounded and in the hospital. All right. Thank you, Bill. You bet.